It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the New England Patriots coming up next. On a warm and sunny afternoon in the Bay State of Massachusetts, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the defending NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles, taking on the New England Patriots. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, the wait is over. The regular season is upon us. It is kickoff weekend around the NFL. Our two teams here getting in a final tune-up, but let's look ahead to the 2023 season. What are you going to be watching for? How about some of the recognizable new faces in new places? Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, Odell Beckham Jr. The identity of teams under new coaches in places like Houston, Carolina, and Denver. And then, of course, the rookies. After the draft, we want to see how they perform. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. On oh, the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year, and he even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. A thousand-yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramondre Stevenson. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them? And do I have enough confidence to make a play? Throwing Jones. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And a quick slant gets exactly 10. And by the nose of the football, they've got a first down. A give for Stevenson, running right. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you to the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Now Jones. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Another nice play there by Reddick. More evidence that sometimes a position change is exactly what a player needs. Totally reinvented as an edge rusher instead of playing linebacker. Second in the NFL with 16 sacks in his first season with the Eagles in 2022. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And they're gonna have this across midfield and inside the 45. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allowed a conversion. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, takes the starch right out of them. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Off the play fake, Jones. And that one too wide, 
And incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. On the draw, here's Jones to keep it. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost four there, and it's third down. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. Jones throwing on third and long. And he is caught, and he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. you got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking for the end zone. And that is incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Here's second and ten. Throwing again, Jones. That is incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver, but now it'll be third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. And this one is right through. And the Patriots jump back to a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. the kicker Ryland and he'll send this one away this fielded right at the goal line fighting his way through contact and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line so here come the Eagles the defending NFC champs led out by a man who was the runner up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago of course that's Jalen Hurts and we already knew that Hurts was a good quarterback but last year he moved to elite status. Under his guidance, the Eagles returned to the Super Bowl and nearly won it. And he's also one of the league's most dangerous players. Thrown for 38 touchdowns. There he goes, left side. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. And fans of Pennies can certainly celebrate seeing that run because after 2021 breakout year, 2022 was cut short by injury. But there's one thing Philadelphia knows how to do. It's run the football. They targeted Penny as a free agent, knowing he could be a lead guy in their offense. Fights through it. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do? to slow him down before he truly gets started. On second down, here's Penny. 
And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now, we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, <laughs> they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. Penny, a first down carry. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 55 yards rushing so far, and this is just their first possession. And they've got a new set of downs here. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. They go with a former lion. It's DeAndre Swift. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Here now, second and four. They'll run with Penny here out of the shotgun. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the... Puts it on the carpet, it's out. And yeah, it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. To throw again on second down, Jones. 
And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Beringer on to punt for the Patriots. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Here's a second and eight. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll set up a throw. They set up the screen to Penny. Evades him at the 20. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at about the 32. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive, and he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Holding offense. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. It was Josh Schwett who got him down on the defensive side. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, partner, and that quick three and out, that's not gonna achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. Here's Bryce Beringer on now to punt. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. 
Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First catch for the Eagles' leading receiver from a year ago. It's a first down. So the completion there, and CD, as we know, trying to defend against an NFL quarterback, that's one thing. Trying to defend against a mobile NFL quarterback, that's quite another. What's the plan here defensively? Well, the pass rush has to still try and get to him, and especially the guys on the edge. But they're going to go maybe a, a, a count slower, right? They want to make sure they don't get too far upfield where he steps up and takes off through a lane. The same is true for those interior guys as well. So you've got to change it up with him, try and keep him hemmed into the pocket, and occasionally you throw a spy on him, a fast linebacker or one of your extra defensive backs who can dance with him a little bit if he takes off and runs. After the penalty, it's Penny. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. On the draw, this is Penny. Shoves him away. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 90 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Again, it's Penny. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Throwing his hurts. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. From the gun, it's Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Elliott on for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. 
So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Looking to throw. Jones throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I would say it would probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there, hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. This time it's third and three. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and six. Hurts going to keep it running right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Here's Penny on the counter. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Here's a second and five. They go play action with Hertz. That's caught inside the 20. A big play there for Philly. 53 yards. He's already got one touchdown this first half already. That very nearly was a second. Defensively, they're going to have to figure something out because he's been able to outrun the defenders early and often so far. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Penny. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. 
And he's got it. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Penny will try to punch it in. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Rashad Penny punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles are able to widen their advantage. And you can bet when they were in that huddle, there was definitely some urgency because I'm sure they were saying to each other, we got to push this one in right now so we don't have to run this on fourth down and there'll be extra bodies in the hole. That's excellent work there at the point of attack. All it takes is one little crease as he fights his way into the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. New England's offense set to go. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Hassan Reddick. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. From the gun, it's Stevenson. Shoves him aside. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That's an excellent run right there on second and long. Didn't get back all of it, but a huge chunk. Now they're in third manageable and back on schedule trying to pick up a first down. Here's third and a few inches. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take him the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Off the bootleg, Jones. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Parker. Calling a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the Eagles' 38-yard line. Back to throw, Jones. Now a short one to Gesicki. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. First down marker at the 31, it's third down. Looking to throw, Jones. 
The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This from 54 yards away. And that is no good. And the deficit will stay at three scores. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. And out now come the Eagles. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. A yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. This offense so far on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Hurts fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as the tackle made at the 31-yard line. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. Hurts sets up to throw it. Complete. Smith has it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll look to throw again. And his throw is incomplete. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. A beautiful. 
beautiful fake. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll drop to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Throwing Jones. Pass on the out route caught by Smith-Schuster. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 14. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Now Jones got the connection here to board. Seven yards there at a first down. Stevenson now on first and 10. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Okay, Coach, we thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we Penny. welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. He the end zone on three. a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I liked what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Off the play fake, here's Hertz. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. This short throw caught by Goddard. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. 
And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Second down. Here's Hurts. Dumps that off to Penny, his running back. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 35. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big gain. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, he had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 106 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Play action. Here's Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. There's completion to the tight end. And I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. On third down, Penny. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage, but it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Now they'll run it again with Penny, and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Devon Godshow up to make the tackle. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. They work now on second and nine. Penny up the middle. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Partner, I know my grade school teachers never would believe this, but I can absorb a lesson. I think there's a lesson in this one. He's having a great day running the football, but occasionally they're going to find a way to stop you, aren't they? Yeah, this time the defense stepped up, and what's been so far a tough... He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. From 13 yards out. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Elliott Good with a PAT. And they open the lead up now to 25. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. But let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They run once more with Stevenson, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Taken down at the 41. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. From the 41, here's a second and eight. Running left is Stevenson. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. It's a game three. Brings up third and four. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Back to throw. Jones. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Fletcher Cox gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that, oh, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven at the 
Here's Hurts to throw. He's going deep for Brown. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That is caught. Oh, and now some space to operate. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. The partner is still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice gains. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. No one wants to leave any doubt when they're playing well. They just want to continue the process. But first down, Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 30 yards. I'm seeing a lot of guys shaking their heads on defense right now, particularly in the secondary. And when you see that going on, that is never a good sign. But it's understandable. They've been shredded so far. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. From the gun, a give to Penny. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. From the 22 now, here's second and six. Inside handoff, Penny. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one yard gain. On second down, here's Penny, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long, we've seen them get gashed. This time, they played the responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. So 
Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. to the field goal. Here's Elliott to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And he's taken down inside the 30. The play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now a play fake here on first down. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 23 yards on the play. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Every team we ever talk to that continues to run the ball in a game, even when they haven't had much success, all talks about attrition, don't they? If you keep running it, eventually good things are likely to happen. It's been a hard go in this game today, hasn't it? Yeah, this defense, they've met pretty much every challenge in front of them this afternoon. They're still trying to run the ball, but they're not finding much space. Elliott will get down close to the goal line, but not in as he'll be marked down at the one. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this? Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three. Why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. So they finally get their first trip to the red zone, and it ends with nothing. And that's what I'm going to focus on with you, because you teed it up really well. Finally get to the red zone. So there's got to be a little bit of frustration, because they haven't moved the ball as well as they wanted to all game. Now they get there, but we got to go for it, because we don't know if we can get back here again. We don't know how many opportunities, because they've been sputtering a little bit. Absolutely. At this stage in the second half, to get there and not get it for the first time, tough. This is second and eight. A handoff to Penny. 
And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. So they couldn't get anything there, Charles. Now fourth down from their own two, and a bad situation, to be frank, for the special teams. Yeah, if you are the punting team now, your number one thing is protect the punter because you got to think they may actually come after him trying to get a big play. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. New England's offense set to go. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. This one to Bourne out on the left side. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and two. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now Jones on third and two. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the Patriots first down. First and ten at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. Back to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Parker. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. Defensively, you've got the nice lead here in the fourth quarter. You're saying, eh, if they want to get a run of a little over 10 yards, that's okay. <laughs> I hear what you're doing there, and I think you're on to something. They've loosened up on defense, so don't get fooled by the nice runs you're getting now. You've got to get bigger plays, possibly think about throwing the football a bit more here. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. Uh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Operating from the gun, Jones. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. That catch good for 8, but still, it's third and goal down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. 
The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's intercepted at the goal line. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Elliott good on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Jones, another shot here after the pick six. That's to the sideline and incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. On second and ten, Jones, open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball, but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Throwing again on second down. Jones, Henry's got it out on the left side. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Throwing Jones. Open man is born. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the ten at the 11 or the 12. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. On the draw is Stevenson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add it a little bit of power and you find a way to pick up first downs. Now Jones. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant and it's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick and the Eagles force the turnover and they'll take over at the 10. But with this advantage, this defense knew the passes were coming and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. 
They see the scoreboard. They see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. Eagles offense and A.J. Brown headed back out there, and he is just one reception away from 10 in this game. I, I don't know what they need to do defensively, but something has to be altered, does it not? I know that whenever we tried to cover a person who's having a game like this, you're trying to vary what you're doing, trying to change things up, hoping to fool him occasionally. If not fool him, fool the quarterback so he maybe doesn't read the coverage correctly. Right now, though, they're in pretty good sync. Now second and five. Now it's Penny running right. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, on one side of this, Charles, an impressive victory. On the other, I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first quarter, but then they didn't score in quarters two, three, or four. They're going to have a lot of work to do before stepping back on the field. Yeah, it'd be an interesting tape to analyze, won't it? Because why did it work in the first quarter, but nothing in quarters two, three, and four? So we always talk about adjustments. You don't just wait till halftime. You do it series to series. They'll be working on that in preparation for their next game. 